Hello everyone, today we will learn about isometric projection. So it is basically presentation of 3D objects in 2D. First let me give you an example of isometric view. So let's go to 3D. Okay first let's select our template. Now go to 3D. Here click on this corner of this cube. So this is isometric view. Whatever I will make here or model here and the way it will look that way is called isometric view. So click on this box. Here you can see this is called isometric view. Okay, so this is looking like a hexagon. First, let me change its visual style. Now it is looking like a cube and this is called isometric view. Okay, let me confirm this. Click on this uh, and select angular. We use this for angular dimensions. Here you can see both of these angles are 30. So this is uh, definitely a isometric view. You don't need to do any of these, but I just want to uh, show you why it is a isometric view. So here you can see there are three planes in this cube. One is top, one is right and one is left. So when we will work in 2D uh, in this 2D drafting, we want to be working in 3D. If you want, you can work in 3D. Uh, you have to use that, uh, these things, these solid editing, union, subtraction, intersection, and these are same as Venn diagram. So whenever you model anything, you need to use these things. So we are going to use this drafting and, and annotations. So let's go there. And as I already told you, we will need these three plans. So how will we get these? And okay, so why will we need these? Because these isoplanes are representing XY plane, YZ plane and ZX plane. Here you can see uh, this coordinates. This is YX. So this is this this plane is representing YX plane. And here it is ZX. So this plane is representing ZX plane. And this plane is YZ. So this plane is representing YZ plane. In isometric views, these are called, here you can see these are called isoplanes left, which is it, uh, isoplane top, which is this, and isoplane right, which is this plane. Okay, so uh, if you don't find this option uh, in your AutoCAD, just go in this three line and turn this option on from here, isometric drafting. And you need to also on this option, polar tracking, we will need both of these options. Or you can also use this command, isodraft which is basically same for this. So we already turned this on, so we don't need that. Okay, so let's go to our drawing. Uh, let's delete it first and go to our question. Let's draw this. Here you can see we have front view and top view. Before drawing line, here you can see I'm using isoplan top. In isometric drawing, we have to use all these three plans for making circles or curves but uh, you can see here we have mostly lines so uh, for uh, making lines we have work around we can use this iso uh, we can use this polar tracking and just select this 30 60 90 120 here you can see it is snapping in the multiple of 30 degree angle Okay, so here width is 60, but it's not given in question, but uh, uh, we can calculate it. I made the, these lines for reference, here you can see.
नो हीयर कम्स दिस सर्कल दिस हाफ सर्कल सो नाओ वी विल नीड दिस आई सो प्लेन टॉप हेयर इफ आई यूज दिस नॉर्मल सर्कल इट वॉन्ट बी सीन इन आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू वी वॉन्ट ए सम स्लांटेड सर्कल सो वी नीड टू यूज दिस इलिप्स सो चूज दिस सेकेंड ऑप्शन एक्सिस एंड एंड क्लिक ऑन दिस आइसो सर्कल नो सेलेक्ट इट वन ओवर टाइम फॉर दिस स्मॉलर सर्कल सेलेक्ट आइसो सर्कल in the part which which want we seen in this view in this view okay here you can see uh, my line is snapping already but if your line is not snapping it may be because of this option quadrant if i turn this off and now i try this i can't snap it here you can see Okay, I am still getting this option. That's good, I guess. Here you can see our uh, isometric view is almost ready. Now we need to make this. shift it 10 cm delete this line here you can see it's looking just like 3d view now let's give it dimensions okay so here you can see if you get this type of dimension you need to select align dimension this didn't look right so select this go to annotate here uh select this option oblique now we need to enter our oblique angle so we know uh this should be in this angle so this is 150 here you can see now it's looking good select it again oblique इंटर एंगल नो वी नीड टू गिव इट्स रेडियस सो लेट्स यूज दिस डायमेंशन ओके वी कॉन्ट यूज दिस डायमेंशन इन आइसो आइसो प्लेन व्यूज सो वी नीड टू यूज दिस मल्टी लीडर Select and now give R thirty. Copy it. Now our drawing is ready. Here you can see. Okay, just oh here we need we also need to give dimension to. this side
here you can see we need to give direction to these two dimension also okay so now it's looking good so that's it for today thank you